everybody, welcome back to another episode of GTA. Where Franklin and I don't know how to drive, but that's okay, because that's the whole point of this game. The last time we were here, oh shit. Um, we got into some more trouble and found out that we were supposed to help the FIB get rid of Trevor. When the time comes. So that's not good. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I know that you get the choice to kill either or, but what are we going to do in this one is the real question. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. If I get that story right, the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. What about Trevor? Trevor? Why? Prime Meriwether. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve to control of them, but not Trevor. Steve. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. And listen to these great tracks. Well, that's scary. Set some fat fucking old jackass on me, please. Big man. Who are you fighting? We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Well, fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses! Put a beat down on an old man! Hey, we don't take that! We have a deal hey, with them! Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes! Alright, let's go! Fuck what? Hey! Here's an old man who might hit back! Eliminate Rocco. Alright, let's go again. Let's break the other one. <laughs> so something happened, obviously, and now we're gonna go take care of the problem for our dear friend. We're gonna get us. If I can even make it over there. That's on you. Oh. Ah! How are you meant to get ahead, this town? Ah, oh, shit. Whoa. Sorry. If you're feeling down, we've got some foreigner for you. Oh! What? But, but look at him, he died. See, that's one thing, one complaint I have about this game is that whenever we're in missions like that where you have to, like, steal someone. Where are you going? Not steal, guys? but when you're trying to get back someone's money that they stole or something. Or go on missions like this for some reason. The characters are like unbeatable. You can run them over like 30 million times if you're you still won't die. What is this bullshit? I don't know. Fuck, I'm gonna lose them. <laughs> ah. Dude. You were a tough guy. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is not the car that they were in, but oopsies! It's ours now. We have avenged our friend, it is okay. Are you having fun? Always. You're throwing me softballs, the rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael, maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. The War on Terror. Yeah, sure. of course. I'll be right over. Let's see what this meeting's about. Come in. Come in. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're very welcome. Uh, turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> Shut up. Dang. And take Shots a look fired. at that. Oh. Oh. With those bullet holes in his chest. <laughs> Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nice. Nothing but make believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. You said let me show you some Russians? Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Oh, he's actually happy. Where are we? How are we in a dumpster? At least we're not naked this time. This isn't suspicious at all. Okay, you know redwood cigarettes? <laughs> sure, the cigarette that <laughs> built America. Just They've rigged into the a jury to thing? throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. There are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. See these delts, bro? I'll rip you apart! Is it him? Head north. Yacht off the coast of Pacific End. <laughs> Shit. Don't mind me. Get up, Franklin. Damn, I ain't got much time left. <laughs> I really don't. Love George Michael. <laughs> oh my god. I'm running out of time. Gotta go, gotta go. Was that not the guy? <laughs> Alright, it was. You fucking lunatic! Yes. Shit. Okay, that ought to do it. All right, and I got your back. <laughs> hey, L, it's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. What? Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives, the film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> In this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free 
I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us. The suits. And they don't even wear suits. Wolves in turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you well, isn't ever she a wearing human a being? Look, people used to like Were films, you ever a like, human what? being? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, Why? can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Oh. Nobody fucks with my film! Alright. Okay, okay. The airport. Slow it down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey! I am thinking. I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strong. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. I don't <laughs> hurt anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. Ah. Oh shit. Where's this bitch going? Oh, 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 the plane. Oh. oh. Damn. You're playing chicken? Holy hell. Pull it over already. Yeah, come on. We'll protect you. Just pull over. Can I kill him? Or am I not supposed to kill him? Oh, stop! Look out! Oh! Ah, oh, that was nasty and needless. Dang! Lose the gun. She's the one behind this. Trespassing. That's the most you got on me. How do I deploy it? There we go. It's a rainbow. Is that the airplane? <laughs> nice.
right, we got the film back, so that's pretty cool. You once told me, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer a dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The Dude. edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Oh. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Oh, that's actually kind of... That's kind of nice. He actually did something that his family's proud of. We can go to the shrink, huh? Interesting. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Trace are like freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux? No, I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. Oh. Father son bonding. How cute. Alright, you guys. So we're gonna save that for the next episode. It's gonna be a nice one to look forward to. So I hope you guys will... I hope you guys will be able to catch that one as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.